TBS News senior security analyst Mike Morrell is a former deputy CIA director. He was the agency's director of intelligence at the time Bergdahl disappeared. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Nora. Let me begin with this. Suppose you were still the director of the CIA. Would you have advised the president to go ahead with this deal? So what I would have done, Charlie, is outline what I saw as the security risks associated with his release. And I think there are two of them. Um, one has to do with the uh, five individuals um, being released. Um, let's not sugarcoat this. Um, they are senior Taliban officials and they are ideologically hardened. They are bad guys. Um, I do have confidence, Charlie, that the gutteries will hold them for at least a year. Um, I think the Emir's um, commitment to the president is meaningful. Um, I think they'll live up to that. Uh, the question is, what happens at the end of the year? Um, I think they go home. I think they resume the fight and will still be in country for a year and a half after that. So I do think they pose some risk uh, to the U.S. a year from now. Acceptable risk? I think risk? the other issue, Charlie, and oh, sorry, go acceptable ahead. Acceptable risk. I think, I think the other issue, Charlie, that I'm actually more concerned about is what signal this sends to militants across the world who may not have considered kidnapping Americans who may now do so as a result of this. That's my bigger concern. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Mike, because you point out that they could be a, a continued security threat. Uh, as one Republican senator said, they're the Taliban dream team. We just heard the president say in Warsaw, though, that he believes we're going to keep our eyes on them and that we have confidence we will be in a position to go after them. Do you have that same confidence? So I have that confidence um, that we'll be able to watch them, that the gutteries will be able to watch them in Qatar. Um, but once they leave, um, once they leave a year from now for sure, and uh, if they were able to sneak away earlier than that, um, once they get to Afghanistan, it's going to be much harder to find them. Mike, there's some reason to believe, based on what Leon Panetta has said, that in, this is a new circumstance that the Taliban refused to make these guarantees before and therefore would not make a deal. But that was the factor that led the administration to agree to this deal. Um, you know, before the issue was as much getting Sergeant Bergdahl back as it was getting peace talks started with the Taliban. And that, to me, was the real snag in earlier discussions. And that doesn't seem to have been part of the discussion this time around. Do you think there's a real possibility something could come out of this now? Further discussions no, with the Taliban? No, I don't think so, Charlie. No, I don't think so, Charlie. Um, you know, we're, um, we're two and a half years from all the U.S. troops leaving Afghanistan. Um, it seems to me the Taliban has absolutely no incentive to negotiate. Their incentive is to wait us out and then continue the war against the Afghan government. All right, Mike Morrell, good to see you. Thank you so much.